Welcome to Bigfoot Running. This is Brad and I'm calling spring early this year. Starting today. All right, we're going to chase after Crystal and Buddy and then we're going to head to Anstey. Oh, I'm going to grab the GoPro. From home to Anstey Hill. Hello. Such a well-behaved dog. Oh, it's going on, bro. Wait. Going that way. I'm calling spring early, Crystal. Spring. It's party time. It's party time, you know. He knows it. <laughs> See you, buddy. See you, buddy. Bye, buddy. Bye, Brad. See you later. Alright. See you, guys. I'm going this way. So just made it to Anstey Hill from the front gate. It's a ripper of a day today. This is just awesome. It really does feel like spring is here. It's interesting to see how many of those orange orchids have sprouted in the last couple of days. I reckon there'll be a few more. All right, let's go. Spring's in the air. So far, no orange orchids on this side. Not long though, a few more days like this. To the quarry. like the best weather we've had in a long time. I'm sure there'll be some more rainy days before it sinks in for, for real, but it really feels like I did make the most of winter. And yeah, definitely getting close to uh, the Heisen and feeling like it's all paying off. So yeah, just gotta steady the ship and keep leaning into it. Running downhill is a dance with gravity. Ooh. I'm a bit excited, this weather is bloody beautiful. Yeah! Oh, look at all the rubbish. Jeez. I'm surprised there's no one swimming today. You wait when summer comes around. It's crazy. <laughs> Around this time last year, 
I was uh, I was injured, and um, I remember looking at you know a bit more than a month towards the hyson and just thinking, can I get to the point where um, I can actually train? Um, and it was a balancing act back then, whether you, you sort of keep trying to train and hope the injury heals, which ended up turning into stress fractures. Um, so yeah, I kind of, I was trying to continue training um, and not giving it the full rest that it needed. And uh, yeah, kept going from this point a bit, a bit closer towards the high sun. And then, you know, there was a couple, it was a couple of weeks before, um, just before the sort of deadline to where you could enter and um, I couldn't even sort of finish a 10k run so you know it is you know for me to get to the high summit's accommodation it's expensive all that sort of stuff so um, decided to, to not do it and it was like a it was a really hard decision um, but then I let it heal and from sort of at least from December last year all the way up to this point I've been really consistent in my training and um, I've, I've done a few things to sort of avoid that same injury cycle so just having a few more years into the sport has helped for sure. Um, and instead of constantly trying to ramp my kilometers up, I basically plateaued at sort of 70 Ks for about 12 to 15 weeks, then 80 Ks for 12 to 15 weeks, then 90, and um, recently into the, the 100 plus kilometer weeks. And also planning, I think there were about three weeks so far where I've planned to dip in the training just on purpose. Because each time I get injured, it's like I wished I'd just taken a break when I didn't need to. And then those um, those minor sort of tears and things that are lingering that you don't really know about that are about to pop up have the time to heal. Um, I've also been stretching more um, and doing a bit of strengthening, although that's still an area where I could make some huge improvements so, and some core training. So, yeah, there's still room for improvement. Yeah, it feels like I've had a, a solid winter training block. The weather's starting to turn good. Um, and yeah, looking forward to Parawira on Father's Day. 25k trial run there. It's going to be good. Um, as long as I sort of play it safe, it should be a good run in the lead up for the Hyson. And um, yeah, about a week before the Hyson, I'll, I'll back it off. And, and yeah, looking forward to it. Hopefully, it just, hopefully I can hang on and uh, nothing happens between now and then. I can't tell you how much I love getting out here though. And the fact that I can run from my front gate here without too much dramas is uh, pretty cool, pretty special to me. So yeah, might even be a few people enjoying the beach today. All right, let's keep it going. What I found, yeah, another one, another one. Oh yeah, it's springtime. Yeah, oh nice. Springs here. There you go. Come out to Anstey Hill to check out the display. Gonna be, that's nothing compared to what you're going to see in the next few weeks.
car running. So we're leaving Anstey Hill and they run home on the streets. Bloody awesome weather. Bring on more of this weather. All right, so that was a great run, awesome weather, back at home now, Saturday, kind of a long run, bloody hell mate, bring on this weather, if the Hyson is anything like today, have a great weekend wherever you are. This is Brad, Bigfoot Running. See you Sunday.